I always wanted to become a high paying automation tester. You know what when I have started my career as a fresher right I thought okay let's move to a software testing part. So when I joined the software testing world right the first thing that I have noticed is that I joined a basically a service based company and where I was working as a manual tester and I noticed that automation testers which is basically one of my friend basically joined in another startup right he was getting almost 1.5x or you can say almost 40% high. So more salary you are getting as an automation tester but the things that you are doing right which are very very important so i always wanted to become an automation tester and especially the high paying automation tester that's what the most important thing that i wanted to do all right so in this video i'm going to discuss about the five important things that you should start doing right now if you want to become a high paying automation tester guys this is very very important because see all of you are working as an automation engineer but what you are doing is that you are making some kind of mistakes which basically what happening is yeah, that as a even you are as a working as an automation tester right but you are not high paying so I'm going to give you the details what are the topics learning skills that you can add to become a high paying automation tester and you can get almost like similar salaries as compared to developer this is what I have noticed also with my 12 years experience right automation is the need of the hour this is a wake up call for the manual testers if you want to convert to automation job ready automation tester batch is now live four months live batch Saturday Sunday we are going to learn about core Java API automation and web automation link is in the description do check it out all the projects are live will the 24 7 doubt sessions on sd.club check out the more details welcome guys welcome to testing academy i create videos around the software testing world and the productivity if you are existing subscriber thanks a lot for joining in and if you are new one consider subscribing because we share a lot of tips related to the automation testing software testing world and all all right so let's start with the first topic which is the first important thing that you should do guys as an automation engineer right the moment you have switched to automation you have started learning the automation so i'm assuming the first thing you will do is learn a programming then the second thing you will do is you will learn an automation tool it can be a api automation or a web automation right the most important thing the first thing that i would like to highlight is that guys you need to learn the ci cd that is the most important thing so what exactly it means right so tools like our git tools like jenkins tools like which will basically help you in continuous integration and continuous delivery which is CI CD tools we have Jenkins we have Travis CI we have bamboo right there are a lot of CI CD platforms like for example GitLab is also there right and I have created a free videos around it so make sure you watch the Jenkins video git videos and GitLab videos because I have created all of them this is one of the important thing that you should have and add these skills to your resume to become a high paying automation tester right tip number Two, the most important thing is that you should know and you should master the art of test automation framework creation in API testing as well as in the web automation. That is the most important thing. So what exactly people do is that they started learning directly Selenium. The, one of the biggest problem is that see Selenium, the moment you basically start learning Selenium, right? Uh, what happens is there are new topics, which are, for example, Maven, you have to learn test engine, you have to learn CI CD part, you have to learn, right? And the automation framework also. But I think there is a step-by-step -step process and you should know at least three things which are you should know api testing automation api testing plus automation you should know web automation and the mobile testing also so three three things you can add to your resume skills that yes you have worked on this project because see the moment i have added a mobile automation framework knowledge into my resume right i got selected in one of the startup and i doubled my salary so you can imagine right don't miss out the opportunity because you don't know mobile automation right uh, what i have seen throughout my 12 years experience right the most important thing is that you should add api automation you should add web automation also you should add the mobile automation also the more automation skills you will add the more skills or uh, that you add right that will be very important and you can get a better opportunity right see not only that i have added security testing also into my profile as well as performance testing because i have done some performance testing by using jmeter blaze meter load runner and multiple tools so you don't know which type of project will come so make sure you are ready with the opportunity that is the most important thing right now the next important to topic is learn the programming language and what you need to do is see throughout my 12 years experience right what you need to do is you have to keep on improvising your programming skills so what happens is what people do is after becoming an automation tester right they have started contributing to the framework but where they stop is that they don't learn about the design patterns they don't learn about the solid principles right so there are multiple multiple things which are available after the after learning the programming skills right so what exactly happens is you learn about the core programming language then go with the design pattern solid principles right 
all these things will help you and will basically make you more high paying automation tester. This is what I believe, right? So I hope this helps right in this case. So the next tip that we are going to do is basically uh, leverage and learn about the other test or you can say other type of testing methodology or type of framework. See, I have already 12 years experience. I told you, right? But I have worked with Cucumber BDD also. I have worked with TDD also. I have worked with our normal hybrid frameworks also. We have worked with modular framework also, right? So after learning basics of Selenium as well as the API automation, right? If you want to become a high paying that you have to learn about these concepts also. Add Cucumber BDT into your resume. Add TDD related framework into your resume. Add custom hybrid frameworks into your resume. Add modular based resume, right? You will find a lot of videos around this. I have even created how to do these kind of framework and how to create these kind of frameworks. I would suggest you to keep on adding them into your skills because these will basically make you more high paying. Guys, this is very important video because I'm telling you these skills nobody is going to tell you to be honest. Okay. And the most important. So this was a fourth one. And the last one is, of course, the strong communication and collaboration skill. Right. Again, you will tell me, promote. this is very generic, right? Everybody know how to communicate and how to collaborate. No, but important skill that you can add to become a high paying is that first of all, you have to be proactive. You have to know what you have, what we have to automate, what we don't have to automate. You should follow a proper process of planning, test case, regression, what we have to automate right you should have a clarity and get a clarity by collaborating with the team make sure that your qa lead your qa manager your director of quality your product manager is aware about the automation roi which is return on investment i have created one video around it how to basically impress your manager or a qa lead that automation is needed in your project right that's where the most important thing so as a fifth point what i'm trying to tell you is that you have to showcase that this is what exactly are is the roi or the return of investment you are getting after introducing automation so that your visibility is increasing, right? The moment your visibility is increasing, you will, they will know that, okay, you are working on this part. The more important they think that automation is necessary for scaling, right? So this is for the companies who are basically have a stable regression suit and all. So this is where the most important thing, right? I hope this helps. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope this helps because see, I think these are the five important things that you should know after, even if you are starting to learning the automation, because these things will help you to become a high paying automation tester because see automation tester people are doing it they are working in service based company they are doing it right but no what you have to do is that you have to follow an unconventional path where you are adding more skills and you can present them that yes i know this thing and i'm complete full stack package which will help you to basically grow your team that's where they will pay you more as compared to the normal tester right this is what i have done thank you for watching i hope this video helps like and subscribe and make sure you put down the comment what you think are the traits of a high paying automation tester or a manual tester right in the comments i will read every comment and i will reply thanks for watching and make sure you check it out okay bye